Scott. A 106-year-old piece of this cake was found in 2017 and still seemed edible. Fruit cake. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting outside today because it's V nice outside and now there's a garbage truck. Okay, well I'm persevering because it's nice outside. I have, so I just wrapped up Whole30 and I really wanna get that video out. It's just taking a while because it's 30 days of footage and recipes to go through, which is kind of a lot. And I have my new little kitty, so that's a little much to deal with. But I wanted to do a week of paleo. A lot of people have been suggesting this and I think this is a great follow up diet from Whole30 because they're actually very similar. It's basically like you're a caveman. <laughs> um, so it's no added sugars, no grains, um, very, very reliant on just really natural foods. So vegetables, fruits, meats, no nitrates, no additives. So it really gets you back into that, just eating real food. I'm gonna let a food box um, choose some of my recipes for the week. So I've partnered with Green Chef and they are gonna be providing me with my paleo dinners for the we've never used like a food box before um, a meal prep box i'm excited to have someone at least just choose a couple meals for me and give me the ingredients it also is something that you can curate to your diet paleo vegetarian vegan keto gluten-free omnivore and carnivore which is a little like interesting which I think is really helpful especially when you're on one of these like new word diets and it kind of oh my god there's a bee oh my god there's a bee I don't know what's coming but I'm excited so what I'm gonna get is three dinners that are like two portions each so that'll really help me throughout the week to have it um, it comes with the sauces and seasonings already and then all of the vegetables and meats are packaged as well I also really liked that the ingredients are thoughtfully sourced and organic which is a really big important thing to me especially when it comes to the dirty dozen so all the ingredients will be pre-measured prepped and ready for me to cook. And so I just follow a detailed like recipe card. And then the other is gonna be curated recommended recipes that I've been receiving throughout my time on Whole30 because a lot of them actually line up paleo. Um, and I think just more learning about what paleo is and what it does for your body will be part of this week as well. So if you like the recipes you see in this video, you can go to greenchef.us not.com you can actually get $50 off your first box with the code right here um, if you like what you see so I guess let's get paleoing well I made <laughs> for breakfast today I made that paleo oatmeal I made in the Khloe Kardashian video but I added excuse me blueberries um, so I think this will keep me full and it's not for you hey everyone <laughs> What up? Oh no, can you delete this <laughs> What? Oh my god. I'm um, currently having lunch. It is pretty fantastic here. Just kidding, it's really boring. It's chicken and vegetables. The box has arrived and it is cool to the touch. It feels pretty good. What do we think? Okay, she doesn't care. I legit thought this was food. <laughs> here is tonight's first dinner. We've got grilled barbecue pork chops. It is paleo, gluten-free. Actually, I'm pretty impressed that there's only eight items of ingredients and it has everything, so I better not screw this up. All right, let's see. On the other side, oh, all the directions are on the other side and there's little pictures. Sorry guys, I'm kind of excited because I've never done one of, I've never done like a food box before. So this is probably really typical and I'm getting like overly excited. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, you get reusable ice coolers. I will get to you. I will get to you. Um, can we talk about this right now? I was just getting ready and Jack made one of the meals. I, I think I made it in less time than it said. It looks like the picture. 
No, turn it over. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. V colorful. Bone apple tea. This is kind of a go-to breakfast I've been having, which is a faux open-faced breakfast sandwich. Essentially, you just throw slices of sweet potato in the toaster, top it with a little smashed avocado and like a bagel seasoning that I've been trying out from TJ's, um, some eggs, and then you can also add your Whole30 bacon. So I can't have guac and tortilla chips. So I read that a lot of people make homemade plantain chips and that's what I'm doing right now. Don't want to toot my own horn here, but these are looking good. Nice and crispy. All it was was plantain, sliced super thin, bake it on 350, onions on 3 onion, and uh, you just bake them for about 20 minutes and they're good to go. Okay, ignore the fuzz look right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and, excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Here we go. All right, I've got everything for tonight's meal, which will be the tomato braised chicken thighs. So we've got the mushroom squash, our vegetables, our sauce, our little garlic, <laughs> our almonds, and our chicken thighs. And somebody is excited. Are you excited? You excited? First impressions. Easy to make. Hot as hell. Very hot. Tastes really good. I'm really bad at seasoning food, so it's nice that the seasoning was already there. I'm serious though. Um, this was really easy, and I think with because they give you the recipe, you can probably make it later on too, which I really think is cool and can increase my uh, cooking skill. <laughs> Okay, this is not an ad. This is just something that has saved my life so far. Um, this is the perfect solution for when you want something like a milkshake or ice cream. And it's this nut and bolt blueprint. I'm sure there's a lot of brands that do this, but it's cashews, date butter, chia seeds, vanilla, and cinnamon. And it's perfect to just sip. Like I have a couple sips every night just when I'm craving something really sweet. And I've really, really liked it. It kind of just tastes like horchata. It's so good. Almost, okay. My microwave's so annoying. Almost everything that I've been eating this week has been completely homemade, except for one dinner that I told my friend I would go to a long time ago. It was like this Saved by the Bell pop-up, and the only thing I could eat was chicken wings and a salad with no dressing or cheese. <laughs> Okay, I've honestly been trying to open this for lunch, these leftovers, for like 10 minutes and I can't get them open. I like literally <laughs> didn't open. I'm so hungry. Oh, I did it. I did it. Yeah. Mm. This is so mean. <laughs> you did this to yourself. <laughs> I can't help you. I can't help you. <laughs> All right. Walking to, okay, this car is so loud. Walking to work, making my way downtown. But um, so far, so good. I mean, the one thing I've noticed so far is that there is so much sh crap in food and it is so hard to find clean food which is kind of scary but i've also been brushing up on my cooking skills so i'm into that but 
it's very much so been an eye-opening experience. Final meal from Green Chef for the dinners. It is shaved steak shawarma salad. <laughs> Literally four S's. Can we just talk about real quick what the organic egg came in? <laughs> it's so cute. It looks like one of those fighter jets from uh, Star Wars. Successfully made it. So you're supposed to eat it salad, then you put the meat on top, then the tahini. I boiled an egg and chopped and cracked open pistachios for this. Wow. So it better be good. All right, hello. Welcome back. It is the end of the week and um, I'm feeling good, you know? I think that when you do something like paleo or Whole30 or something that really gets you back to the root of whole foods that haven't been modified, when you start to eat this kind of food, you realize how much food has unnecessarily changed in what we eat every day and how many unnecessary ingredients there are. A lot of people wanted me to do paleo and really this week has not been about like, do I feel like I've lost weight? Do I feel less bloated? But it's about recognizing what goes in your food and educating yourself. Seeing how much I had to cook to be able to follow these instructions really blew my mind. Like, there are very few restaurants that really follow a paleo guideline. I think the, the few things you should recognize in it is that it's pretty high fat. I think people with high blood pressure or high cholesterol should not really get into it or be able to find low cholesterol food. I've really seen I've seen some things. <laughs> you just, it's amazing how much better you feel when you just eat clean. And I think that sometimes we forget about that. I did really like using something like Green Chef, especially for something so particular like paleo. It helped me be able to feel a lot less stress and know that somebody had already planned some things for me. Sometimes using a food box or anything like that can be a little expensive, but if anything, it's helped me realize that I can meal prep and that I can cook. I'm capable of cooking, you guys. I thought I was gonna be like, I'm a caveman, I'm gonna eat so much meat and be all um, meaty. It was also a big lesson in substitution. I learned that there are so many healthy substitutes you can make. So I've enjoyed this week. Let me know what you guys think. Were there any recipes you liked, you didn't like? Let me know if you have any favorite paleo recipes below. Just be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.